Hello everyone. Today I am going to share few tools that we can use to teach physics. Some of them are FET simulations, old physics, physics or lab, geogebra, multiphysics and so on. So today I am going to share how we can do FET simulations to teach our students. Technology is used to grab the attention of students and so we can make them easily understand or we can other than visualization we can directly show them how physics works right so we shall see fetch simulations for that go to chrome and type fetch simulations and fetch simulation is a free online physics physics uh, simulation see this is the fit simulation and this we have physics chemistry math earth science biology all subjects simulations are there now I select physics in physics we have many topics Simulations in motion, sound and waves, work, energy and power, heat and thermodynamics, quantum phenomena, light and radiation, electricity, magnets and circuits. If I want to teach motion, we can select only motion and in motion there are so many simulations. I am going to teach projectile motion now. So for that I will select projectile motion. This is the simulation. So if I want to teach vectors I can choose it. So I have to take the velocity vector to teach vectors and also the components I choose it right. So this is a cannon gun and we can fire it. This is a game actually and we can guess we have got three stars. I will fire another gun with another angle. Yes we have got two stars. So this simulation we can teach students how the range will be maximum in 45 degrees and students can play and learn. That is the main reason for using this simulation to capture the idea of projectile motion. Students can learn easily. So shall we do it again? So with the 30 degrees I fire the gun. Yes. So it is almost 18.4 meters right. The range is 18.4 meters. With 45 degrees I fire the gun. See it is 19.5 almost 19.6 meters almost right. So with 60 degrees I fire the gun again. It is 16 meters. So only when the angle is 45 degree the range will be maximum we can teach that and if you want to teach the vector components see the vectors the horizontal component and the vertical component the horizontal component is a constant and the vertical component varies we can easily explain with this projectile right so this is how we can use the FET simulations to teach many other topics. Thank you. We can also make our students to do this and practice, get practiced. Thank you.